to beat. You're right. It's hard to beat. I'll be ready. I, I'm looking at you right now. I got my eyes on you. Mm -hmm. One of my eyes anyway. I got a bad one over here. <laughs> I got a bad one. I'm looking one eye. You know, I'm related to Sammy Davis. You know. <laughs> My name is Gorin Avery. I am a restaurant professional waiter at the Highlands Bar and Grill at this time. Been here for going on 32 years in November of this year. They call me the ambassador of the, of the Highlands now, the ambassador, which means, you know, that means you just go around, you, you take care of business. You do what you gotta do to make people happy. Now, what about your main course? Um, I'm gonna do the. Uh, Cause you're doing the, you're doing the snapper throw to start. Yeah, I'm gonna try the rabbit. I'm gonna okay. do the rabbit two ways. So. Okay. Wow. Great choice. Hey, yeah. great, great choice. I'm gonna just I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go, baby. Got a little name called Red Dog. Red complexion, dog of a man, and that's that's how the <laughs> that's how the name Red Dog came out. I was a bad dog back in the day. I I was chasing women, having a good time, drinking and going out, you know, with several different women. And now I'm a good puppy. Old puppy, I stay on the front porch <laughs> and just bark very slowly, woof, woof, <laughs> and start trying to chase, you know? <laughs> so it got to the point now that I slowed down a whole lot. In 71, I applied for a job at the the Hyatt Regency downtown. Met a friend of mine by the name of Frank Stitt at the Hyatt. He was the food and beverage manager. I was a, a captain at that time. I had graduated from a waiter to a captain cooking at your table, and that's all I did. I went to each table and cooked for the guests on the waiter's request, so that was my main job, my main goal to do that. And came here in 82, started working here with Frank. Back in the 70s, in the early 80s, it was, it was really, really hard for a, a black waiter and a black waitress to, to, to make money because, you know, you had people who just leave a dollar or two on a $60, $70 tab. You had people leaving $5 on 100 You, you had some people who would kind of get out of control. They, they pop their fingers when they want something or they'll whistle across the room, you know. You know they, they call you, uh, hey boy, I need to get this. Hey boy, I need to get that. That's just the way it was. And so you had, to, if you wanted to make that money, <laughs> and you know that a lot of times people, I think they, they do it without even thinking about what they're saying. Now, you got people that know how to act <laughs> and know how to tip. <laughs> this is all I do. This is a living for me. You know what, it's all about reading a table before you get to the table, okay? If you don't want to just jump in and interrupt them from, from talking, you have to kind of like hang out close enough so you can get an opportunity to step in. If they give me just a moment to get in there, I'm gonna dash in. You have to know when to step in and when not to step in. Because people come here for business meetings and they come here to talk about things. And a lot of times they don't want to be interrupted, so you have to know when to back off. And as soon, like I said, as soon as you get that opportunity to get in there, can I get you a, a cocktail or a glass of wine? Would you like to see the wine list? And you know, it's like to hear the special drink of the day. And so you go ahead and get that going. And when it's time for dinner, and they're gonna ask you some questions. They're gonna wanna know, what do you recommend? Say for instance, you, you order a beef carpaccio, which is raw. Now I can almost tell when somebody ordered that and don't realize it's raw. <laughs> what I'll do, I said, look, so you like beef carpaccio too, huh? You like that raw beef yourself. <laughs> and that's what you mean raw. I said, yes, it is super raw. So you have to kind of read what, when they order, you can tell in a way. All they see is beef carpaccio. It doesn't say anything about raw. So you can kind of tell when they really don't know what they're ordering. And a lot of people are afraid to ask you about something because they feel like they know it all. And so that's when we have to kind of be sharp enough to realize that and, and and I never have many complaints on things like that because I try, to, I try to take care of it before it gets to that point. What, what really, really waiters hate though, when, when, a, when a guest has asked for the check, they have paid out, and you're really trying to turn that table so you can get another table there. 
And what, they, what waiters really hate is when a guest sit down an hour and a half after they paid the check and would not get up. And you cannot say a word. You cannot say a word. And sometimes people oversalt their food. When they first get their food, they look at it, they start doing that with the salt shaker, okay? And then they want to complain about it being too salty. But then you cannot say <laughs> anything. We just try to get them what they want, take it away. And, you know, and so it's just, it just ways. People who have special uh, needs, and, and some people just have uh, this one complaint. And a lot of times I have people com to complain on me because I may spend more time with this table than I do with your table because they're having more fun. You are being too stiff over here. And so I cannot relate to that, but you, you have to give all the tables some love, okay? But then, like I said, some of the ones that you just don't want to go back to because they're just not in that same frame of mind that you're in, having fun and talking about the menu, talking about the wine and, and, and the spirits. And they get mad and call in and complain. Say, this way to show they spend a lot of time with that table over there by the window, and he did not spend enough time with us. So all this stuff you have to deal with, you know, you, you just have to kind of keep going, keep smiling, do the right thing, just be a professional. The younger generation of waiters, they want to get, get fast money and get out, okay? And it's not about that. They don't want to know about a wine and where it's, where it's, what's the grape, where it's coming from. And they don't want to know anything about, okay, how you prepare something from the beginning to the end. They just want to know, okay, this is good. Uh, the group is good. It's, it's all good. Uh, you know, whatever you order, it's, it's going to be good. And what else you want to get? What else you want to drink? And kind of, you know, instead of just making it sound interesting, they just kind of go through it quickly. And I noticed that from other places now, not here because we don't play that stuff. <laughs> you be, you be in trouble, baby. Myself, I go through the whole nine yards, you know. Sometimes you on your way to work, you say, ah, I don't want to go today. I'm not in the mood. But when you get here and start talking to some of the guests that you know and some of the employees. It's just all of a sudden you get this burst of energy, you know, after I have me a cappuccino or two. <laughs> and so it, motiv it's mo it motivates you when, when people come in and they're having a good time and they're all kind of like enjoying themselves and you having a good time talking about the food and everything. It g gives you that boost of extra energy. It just kind of, you're on stage in other words. This is a performance that we do when the stage, when the curtains is pulled open, you just do your thing. And when the curtains is closed, you can just take a deep breath and say, whew, that was a long day. And uh, like I said, I know when to bag off, I know when to approach. And at the end of the meal, they said, Gordon, you did a great job. Please don't go anywhere. Just, you know, try to stay as long as you can, because I'm always, for the last several years, I'm always talking about retiring and, 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 and doing what? Nothing. Just sitting around the house and, and being miserable. But uh, I, I can't stop until I get to the point where I, I can't do it no more.